Hey, today I'm going to be sharing my October garden. Just getting ready to harvest soon. I wanted to share with you some of the stuff we're still able to grow out here in California. If you're in anywhere, there's still sun. These may be some of the things you can still grow. Enjoy. Here I got some pomegranates. They need a little bit of chill time and they're going to be ready to go soon. I also got pineapples. They'll take a couple of years to produce a pineapple. The sunflowers have done very good this year. This one's a beauty. Down here, some squash. Very good zucchini for food. Can't really see them quite well, but a few, a plant or two is all you need, and you'll have all the squash you can dream of. Got some artichokes. Over here is a little apple tree coming in. Can't wait to have that guy going. And down here, I've got some sweet potatoes growing. They're kind of grow on like ivy on the ground. And then their roots produce the sweet potato. And they store really well in the winter. So it's good for emergency food or just extra nutrients in the winter time. Very high in nutrients. I love sweet potatoes. A beautiful flower. A little bee friend and a couple more beautiful flowers. Over here is a Myers lemon tree that's growing pretty well. They go pretty quick in the ground as long as you give them enough food and what they like. Over here are some Concord grapes that I think this is their second year and they've got a few bunches down here. And I'm learning how to have them all ripen at the same time. I'm kind of just getting them a little here, a little there. I don't know if it's because they're young, but I'd like them all to ripen at the same time. So I'll be learning more about that soon. Some green beans. Love green beans. They grow really well. These are growing on old sunflower stems I cut off and then grew them up it. Here's some more. You can see the stem a little bit better on this one, younger one. Over here, I got my fig tree that I'm very proud of. It is a yellow fig, very delicious, tastes like honey. Now you can tell how that one sags down, and then this one stands up a bit more. They're, you can tell they're more ripe when they have that more limp feel, like that bottom one. And when they're more stiff, they need more time. Very happy about this tree. And just across, I've got some bell peppers and some other peppers coming in. And I plan on making this area a much better bell pepper and hot pepper area. I've got some temporary potted um, pineapples and more figs, different varieties I've gotten. And they're in front of my more chili pepper type plants like my cayenne and jalapenos and some more stuff to come. They've been kind of a challenge to really perfect pep uh, bell pepper, but hot peppers are a lot easier to grow. Over here is a cherry tomato. It kind of took off slow and then went fast and it's done it's done a decent job at producing some cherry tomatoes but i think since the season's wearing down they're not doing as well but i have had a few to, to enjoy and over here is the lonely cantaloupe i'm hoping he's a survivor because that'll be delicious and some extra stuff that i have in pots a loquat tree and some blueberries so thanks for checking it out there's a lot you can still grow in California. The season's coming to the end as everything winds down. And Max also enjoys caretaking the garden. Come on, bud. Some puppies are Charlotte had. Beautiful new life. If you like the content, like, subscribe. Don't hit the notification so I don't distract you in your busy, needed-to-be-focused life. Take care.